welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are gonna be talking about all of our dog must-have products. I have here a list of 10 things that we use at least once a week and I'm going to share those with you. Now this video is not a way to try to get you to click on my affiliate links in any way, shape, or form. I truly just want to tell you guys about the best products that I'm using every day. I think only one is specific to corgis, so whether you have a corgi or any other kind of dog, let's get right into it. Okay, but first, must make a chai latte. Alright, I've got my chai. And behind me, I've got 10 of my favorite dog products that we use literally all the time and we could not live without. Right, Willow? Are those your favorite toys behind me? <laughs> we are gonna start number one off strong with the Corgi and Small Dog product that we literally use every single day, multiple times a day. And if you haven't guessed it yet, Willow is standing on them. Let's zoom out for the full effect. Here you have it, the Corgi stairs. Stairs are not only extremely helpful for corgis because like Willow could never jump up onto this bed, but they're actually also super safe for them. Because of corgis long backs and short legs, it's actually bad for them to jump on and off high places. So that's why I have these stairs. They are from PetSafe and we have the large and extra large versions. The extra large goes up onto my bed and the large goes up onto the couch. And they're super sturdy. They're not made out of soft material, so I know that they hold up. And you can also, well, if Willow is not on it, you can fold them up and store them away really easily. This is my number one must have Corgi product, stairs. They are lifesavers and they are so helpful. Now on to product number two. We have Willow's favorite product, and these are our treat puzzles. We've got the brick puzzle. We've got the lick mat. We've got the flying saucer treat puzzle. We've got this little beehive cone thing that I literally use every single day. And we've got And we've got the snoop, which is super fun. It's like bouncy and Willow loves this one. Not only do we use these toys as a way to keep Willow's brain active and keep her busy, but this is also the number one thing that I put down when I leave the house. And this prevents her from getting upset when I'm gone and giving her separation anxiety and things like that. What I like to do is put down multiple treat puzzles around the living room and kind of hide them. So she has multiple different areas to go to and I have time to leave. And basically by the time she's emptied all of these things, she's completely forgotten about me. I love to use the lick mat and the brick puzzle when Willow is bored and I'm trying to work and I need to give her something to do. I'll put vegetables and berries into the brick puzzle just so that you know she's not getting overweight or anything. And then either yogurt or peanut butter on this thing. You just smear it all over and it takes her literally 20 minutes to lick it all off and get everything clean and out of here. There are obviously tons of treat puzzles on Amazon. I recommend trying them all out no matter whether your dog is a puppy or really old, they can all benefit from using their brains, using their noses and having something a little extra to distract them and to have fun with. All right, product number three is literally my favorite dog invention ever, and this is the Fi Collar. Now the Fi Collar is a dog GPS tracking collar, and the fun thing about this collar is that it has a whole app and community online. And basically you can just go through, look at all the cute dogs that are on Fi, build a relationship with them, you can add your dog's photo, and you can see how many steps they're taking every single day. So this is kind of like Willow's Fitbit, but the best part about this collar is that it tracks her location. Now, Willow has never gotten lost before, but if she were to have gotten lost, 
and she was wearing this collar, I would get notified immediately on my phone with a notification that says Willow has left the home without an owner. And then I can open the app and see pretty much to the exact location where Willow is or where the collar is. I've had a couple of scares where I've been on vacation and whenever I go on vacation, I like to add the location that we're staying as one of Willow's safe places. So if she's ever gone from that place, it notifies me. And this gives me so much peace of mind. But one time I was in Sedona and I went to the grocery store and my uncle was back at our house and my uncle took Willow on a walk without telling me. And I was immediately notified on my cell phone saying, Willow has left the Sedona house without an owner. I freaked out, called my dad and was like, um, where is Willow? And so luckily I found out that my uncle had taken her on a walk. And he was so baffled at the fact that I knew exactly where he was and I could see their entire walk route and everything. It's not only fun to track her steps and stuff, but it is really helpful knowing that if she were to ever get lost, I have a whole community of people that would be looking out for her and then I could literally find her location in seconds. The other fun thing about these Phi collars is that you can change the bands really easily. So you can just take these off. I have these Biothane um, collars and it's like a Martingale collar from Le Choube. So I can easily just change the bands, put different colors on, different materials. There are a lot of companies now that make bands for five collars. So super fun. You can use code Willow25 to get $25 off of your collar purchase. So just a little tidbit there. Love this collar so much. And I can't get the band back on right now. So give me a second. She got it, she got it. Okay, put that on. Pretty. All right, item number four that Willow actually hates and she might get off the bed when I pull it up is the doggy Dremel. I use this Dremel once a week on Willow's nails to trim them down. The to attempt to do your dog's nails once a week, it doesn't always happen for us, but basically this tool is amazing. I love it. You can get it on Amazon and they actually, this one is specifically made for dog's nails, but you can, the first one that I had was literally like a Dremel tool that people use for, I don't know, what do people use Dremels for? Building? <laughs> I don't know, I don't use a Dremel, I'm not like handy or anything, but you just plug it in, you can recharge it, and there is a high and a low speed. So um, once your dog gets used to the Dremeling nail trimming, you can turn it up high, but when you're first practicing or starting out, or if you just have a little nail to do, you can put it on low. I'm not gonna turn it on because it freaks Willow out. You can also change the heads to different things to fit your grooming needs. I don't know, I just use the normal one. And yes, if you do not trim your dog's nails, I would recommend it. And I would recommend using the Dremel. It's amazing. It's kind of hard to get your dog used to it, but if you watch our video um, about all the mistakes I made when I first got my Corgi, it talks a little bit about using a Dremel and how to get your dog adjusted to being okay with having their nails trimmed. So check it out. All right, number five kind of goes into grooming as well. And it has been a lifesaver for me as a person who lives in a house with a shower that doesn't have a shower head where you can pull it down. And I just bought this attachment on Amazon and you can literally hook it up to the drain of the bathtub. I have to stand up to get it. Willow saw a cat, must chase. Nope, not my chai. Anyways, this is my shower head attachment. Um, you basically just put this over the bathtub drain, screw it on really tight, and then the water just comes out into this nozzle and you can easily spray off your dog and wash them and rinse them. It is literally when I got Willow, I was using a cup and just filling it and dumping it on her. I can't even like, that must have taken so long. So you definitely need one of these if you don't already have a shower head attachment for any dog of any kind. If you're giving them a bath, this is a game changer. I also have a bathtub stand that I use every time I give Willow a bath. It is from Love Furresh, and it just pops up. It's collapsible, it's easy to store, and it saves me from breaking my back every time I wash Willow. I can just prop her up inside of it. You can hook a leash up to it if your dog is a flight risk, 
and you can also drain it out right into your bathtub but it catches all the hair so it doesn't clog up your drain it's amazing i get questions about it every single time i pull it out and use it love fresh i do not have a discount code but it is so worth it and amazing and i would definitely recommend getting one if you give your dog baths regularly my sixth favorite thing kind of goes back to security and it is a dog camera now i use the furbo dog camera because it has an app subscription and it tells me if my dog is barking or whining or moving it sends me a notification to say that your dog is barking and i can check and watch the video which is super helpful this also shoots out treats which is fun you just put them in the top and they launch out i think willow actually figured out how to like get her tongue in here and get the treats to come out for her so i don't put treats in it anymore but i still really love the camera feature and the app feature and i have learned a lot a lot about willow's habits the furbo camera is actually how i knew that willow had separation anxiety and it just also gives me so much peace of mind because i have this really irrational fear that my house is going to catch on fire i do not want to jinx it because like it is seriously a huge irrational fear of mine and my dog and cats are going to be stuck in the house so the great thing about the furbo camera is that it notifies you if there is anything going on in your house so this gives me so much peace of mind and i turn it on every single time i leave the house and willow is still at home the next item that I use all the time, mostly on walks, but I make sure to take it on all of my vacations with me and stuff, is this little tree tote. And I have a couple of them. They're not like the cutest, most fashionable things, but it hooks onto your belt or your, your waist or whatever. And you can put treats in it. So Willow's eyeing me right now. Willow, come up here. Willow, come up. up. Good girl. So yeah, this is perfect for when I take Willow to the park or on a hike. Um, I can just put treats in here. So these are really great. I use treats for recall purposes. If I ever let her off leash, I just pull these out and she'll listen to me when I have a treat in my hand. I also put her ball inside of it. It fits right in here. And we've got our little setup for the park. All good to go. And these things are super cheap and they are super useful. I use one every single day. We're on item number eight, I believe, and we are talking about things that we use when we go on walks. So this leads right into my favorite leash ever. It is a hands-free leash from Lishube. This leash is made out of the same material as the Phi collar band that I talked about earlier. Um, it's like stink proof. It's really easy to clean and wash. And the cool thing about it is you can wear it like nine different ways and you can go completely hands-free. This obviously only really works if your dog doesn't pull really bad on This only works if your dog doesn't pull. Willow pulls a little bit, but not terribly. And so I basically just put this leash over my body like this. It hooks onto Willow and I can keep completely go hands-free. I think I have a code for Lashube. I think it's Willow 10. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But you can get 10% off one of these if you use that code. All right, I'm going to bring you over for item number nine. And this item is a washable dog bed. Now I'm gonna tell you the one that I use. Actually, I have two that are pretty much fully washable. Um, but the one that I first got is from Zenden. It is this bed right here. And I literally bought it because it was completely 100% machine washable. This is especially important if you have a puppy. I went through like three or four beds with Willow as a puppy because she always peed in her bed and I would just throw the bed away because it was ruined. Guys, I left the stupid treat pouch on the ground and Willow ate all the treats that I had inside of it. It's life with a corgi. Seriously, she's gonna get fat. Anyways, back to the bed. So this is the Zen Den bed. Um, you can unzip it here. And so you can take this cover off, wash this whole cover. Um, this part you can throw in the washer. And see, Willow isn't even a puppy anymore, but this needs a wash. Like, it's gross from treats and stuff. Um, you can take this whole cover off, throw it in the washer. And then I have also washed these middle inserts before as well. Um, and have had no problems. So this is completely machine washable and 
I would definitely recommend getting something like this for dogs of any age and any size. We lose your ball under there. Did you lose your ball under there? This happens all the time. Another thing that I really need to get is like a long stick for these purposes. Things dog owners need. Okay, that is it for our video today. I hope it was super helpful and that some of these products will make your life with the dog easier. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it so much. I'm trying so hard to grow my account right now, so if you don't subscribe to us yet, please subscribe, like, comment, all of the things. It would make my day. We are going to continue to bring you dog content, corgi content. If you have any other types of videos that you would like to see us do, please leave them in the comments. I really appreciate suggestions. And yeah, thanks for subscribing and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.